It's so easy to grab ready-made side dishes to chuck on the table, but having a homemade one can really impress your guests, and it doesn't mean a lot of hard work. Coleslaw is one of the easiest, but this one ain't gonna be anything like the one your nan might whip up. I'm using the traditional veg, chopped white cabbage, onions and carrots. But I'm throwing in a couple of different ones to give it an edge. This version is rock and roll. I'm chucking in edgy veggies, celeriac and fennel. It's just got that kind of underlying flavour of aniseed that runs through it. Proper tasty. As well as red cabbage and beetroot for colour. It's beginning to bleed out all over me chopping board. Hopefully, though, not all over me shirt. Now add these bad boys, toasted fennel seeds. So every now and then you'll get little pockets and bursts of flavour coming from these. Look at the colours in that. Now I'm going to mix up some hardcore mayonnaise. Nothing beats good homemade mayo, and it's easier to whip up than most of us think. Mine is made up of the usual suspects, egg yolks, oil, white wine vinegar, and lemon juice. But I'm gonna pack it out big time with some massive flavors. Five big cloves of garlic, some English mustard. I really love it when you have too much of it on your ham sandwich and it makes you cry. Anything that can do that, gotta give it big respect. Now for some anchovies. Most mayonnaises have this beautiful kind of subtle flavour to them. This one, there is nothing subtle about it. Throw in a little sugar and whiz it up. Blimey, that done half smells strong. Now loss in the vegetable oil. But look at that. Gorgeous, lovely, thick and rich. Mayonnaise. Do you know what? That's probably the best mayonnaise that I've ever made. Time to mix the beautiful crunchy veg with the hardcore mayo. I reckon maybe one or two more dollops. Finish it off with some final flavours. Parsley, dill, chervil and lemon zest. That is how to turn a normal, everyday kind of coleslaw to something super special. Super duper amazing coleslaw.